I want to say happy Valentine's Day to all the, the, the lovely Valentine celebrators out there today, right? Especially to those young women that, you know, might not find what they're looking for today. I believe someone has a special package just for you. And I don't know what grocery store this is at. And I don't know if they was actually thinking about what it looks like when they put it together. But if you are, you know, in the mood for a little sausage, a little Valentine's Day sausage, you know, pick you up something right there with two patties to match. Now, I don't know why the person thought this would be a wonderful marketing idea. But at the same time, I know exactly why people would feel this would be a, a great marketing idea. It's because America is full of a bunch of freaks. We all nasty. What did you think about when you saw this? Mm-hmm. I did too. Shout out to Tiny Tribe on YouTube. That's my dog. That's my homie. I don't know her, but I do know she's a Florida girl and she has a great sense of humor. So I just want to salute her right there. Y'all see this picture she posted? You see this? Papoose and Remy Ma. Now, usually in black love, this is switched around. It's the opposite. It's the baby mamas going to see their baby daddies in prison and being loyal and holding it down. And then he get out and he spent all her money and then he go get a white girl pregnant. You know, that's usually how some, some, some of these things go in the hood, right? Except in this case, it's the woman that went to prison while the man was loyal. Now, I'm not going to say people don't, you know, do their thing on the side because we all, you know, I'm not judging. I'm, I'm going to move on. But look, he was holding her down. Loyal, you know, strong marriage, right? And then she went fucking off. You know, went and got her some Peter Griffin in other places and stuff like that and left him looking silly. She didn't go get pregnant by a white boy, but she is dating people that's lamer than him. You know, so I, I just, I don't see what, you know, she's seeing other. That's not my business. I'm going to shut up. But this is role reversal if I've ever seen it. She is the man, and he is the woman. She is a dog and a pimp, and he was trying to keep the marriage together. Just look at how the world done turned upside down. This is role reversal if I've ever seen it. Did you know that Ray Allen, yeah, Jesus Shuttlesworth, that Ray Allen, was teammates, high school teammates, with John Morant's daddy? Or should I say, did you know John Morant's daddy? Yeah, the usher looking man, that John Morant's daddy. Did you know he was high school teammates with Ray Allen? I had no idea. Now I understand why T. Morant be so passionate at the games. This is an example, a real life example of really living vicariously through your child and successfully doing it. He got his son in the NBA and this boy is a star. I'm sorry, this man, because he is a him. He is a him for sure. He's a star. John Morant's daddy didn't make it to the league. It's, it, he said, it's okay, Ray Allen. It's all right. I know I was good and you was a little better, you know, but 
I'm going to still get there. Just watch this. And damn. He's right there. Through Ja Morant. I bet you T. Morant didn't have that vertical. That's why he put him through all them drills. Because he said, the one thing I couldn't do that I probably should have been able to do that would have got me to the lead because he probably could shoot, but he couldn't shoot like Ray Allen, you know? So he figured if you can jump out the gym, you'll get there. And bam, we got Morant. Or should I say, did you know John Morant's daddy? Yeah, the usher looking man. 